Hello everybody. I am Dr. Keshav Walasi from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, actually in continuation with earlier two sessions, we will again talk about some introductory aspect of uh, management, basically industrial management. At the end of today's session, you are expected to understand what are the major applications of industrial management as well as uh, understand what is the scope of industrial management. Coming to major application areas, actually scope and applications uh, if you talk in general for anything here particularly for industrial management, uh, this was uh, earlier restricted to manufacturing industries only. But with changing times as the supply chain and other operations related things have been uh, very vital in today's context, uh, nowadays uh, these are thought in the field of service sector also or service organizations also in addition to manufacturing organizations. Now, Major applications, uh, if we think of, then uh, different authors might compile these uh, applications in different groupings. Uh, there can be different perceptions and uh, based on that, there can be uh, variations in this. Here I am referring one particular such uh, perception wherein pre-production planning, production planning and control, then inventory management, uh, then TQM that is total quality management and some other uh, functions. Uh, these five groups as a gross consideration I am referring here and at this juncture I uh, request you people to think of uh, different organizations for uh, uh, such applications of industrial management. Think of some cases, some industrial setups in uh, manufacturing as well as service sectors to correlate these applications. Let us talk little uh, more about uh, these applications. The first group was uh, pre-production planning. This is something wherein before you start the actual production, uh, you need to look into certain uh, aspects like plant location, plant layout and allied things. Wherein uh, if I give the example, then for cement manufacturing industry, you really need to uh, look for the location when the raw material is amply available and same goes with the sugar industry uh, wherein the sugar production is crop is more there you prefer to have that location of sugar industry then plant layout yes uh, if you take auto industry then uh, which machine should be kept where uh, the sequencing and scheduling aspect have been very critical and uh, the total time elapsed time the cycle time, all these things were in idle time, you really need to cut down. And hence in industrial engineering, we have got different uh, charting techniques, some tools are there with which we really can think about uh, plant layout. Before the manufacturing begins, that's very important, pre-production state. Then capacity planning, yeah, I mean if we have certain uh, productivity requirement, rather production rate, if we have certain requirement, like for example, 10,000 vehicles per month, suppose if we just take a case, then 10,000 certain quantity of what, uh, automobile, the number to be manufactured, it needs other resources compatible to this 10,000 number. Uh, that means how many machineries you need for 10,000 uh, vehicles to be manufactured. Uh, how many workers you need, what different types of supervisors, managers. So, these all things come under capacity planning. And next is selection of machinery and equipments. Yeah, uh, people need to replace the machineries, the war not machineries or maybe to get into uh, advanced technology related things, CNC technology, flexible manufacturing system, robotics, high level automation things. So, industries need to look into this thing that comes in particularly this uh, selection of machinery and equipments. Same is with mat uh, machinery handling or different material handling systems in automation, what level of automation you need and uh, how would you like to handle these machineries as well as materials, 
what systems you need uh, these all things you think before actual production begins second stage is uh, while you really are about to start the production that we group as uh, production planning and control here again we have planning this planning is a uh, particularly concerned with the production planning and uh, here uh, you need to really look into uh, what type of product and in what quantity or what time period you need to manufacture so these types of uh, production planning related things you have to work out then uh, routing is another uh, application we have uh, when you decide about the root car job car kinds of things like for a particular job through what route it will pass in the shop floor in the industry which first it will go to as a first operation which machine it will go second operation which machine will it go likewise in what route it will follow sequence of machines so as to complete its all operations and take it to the finish level scheduling yes everywhere we do need which job will come to which machine at what time that's the scheduling aspect very simplistically if i talk then dispatching it is uh, nothing but uh, you give the you release the shop orders it's a document uh, you can say uh, nowadays maybe digitized form but unless uh, the orders are given for the manufacturing things won't begin for actual manufacturing so that dispatching and controlling yes against the plant quantities uh, are you really manufacturing the required ones if not why know the reason take the action that's controlling then uh, third group is inventory management that's a very biggest uh, application the aspect when you really maintain your stores also incoming material their quantity checkup and which department should be given how much quantity the record of all these things nowadays people are using uh, erp software in that they have uh, this particular thing as one of the major modules in that and uh, it's a crux of manufacturing industry then is a total quality management there is no compromise on the quality and uh, the concept of totality comes up in that uh, wherein uh, we look into all aspects all the stakeholders uh, we consider uh, they're blend in ultimately bringing out the quality of the product and other applications uh, you can think of like in finance department marketing human resource department everywhere you will find lots of applications of industrial management i repeat again these are the few major applications compiled in certain perception in certain mode you will find little variations with the different authors also now coming to the scope of industrial management yes we are talking because there is a tremendous scope for the management if you see lots of management institutions are running uh, lots of variety of courses and they are highly running and uh, with that the very first if you see it aims at faster organizational growth organization has to grow that is for that thing you need management without management how the organization will grow how will uh, you carry out the proper consumption what is called as the optimum consumption or utilization of the resources if you have these things optimally carried out then only your organization may develop may grow and there is tremendous scope for these applications of so, you know like uh, scope is tremendous in the sense optimum utilization there are lots of techniques available if you just uh, think of industrial engineering or operations research you will find hundreds of tools and techniques for optimum utilization second point is uh, it can be seen as a promising solution for whom for the people those who are looking into uh, higher careers so for career aspirants yes tremendous scope is there earlier uh, also this was restricted to only manufacturing industries and nowadays service organizations are also included in that so there is tremendous scope supply chain management with the mall culture if you see tremendous supply chain uh, management things are being carried out with lot of scope it covers complete supply chain remember supply chain has been very vital issue nowadays and you can think of any mall you can think of any domain like automobile chemical textile fmcg any any type of product 
and their supply chain you need to manage very rightfully further to it uh, it looks into managing all forms of inventory like raw material work in process as well as finished goods so in managing inventories it's a very very big task having lot of scope many industries have closed down their businesses if they cannot uh, if they could not in the past maybe uh, handle the inventories properly and again putting little grossly uh, so uh, scope if we think of uh, it really addresses almost all the functionalities like production management uh, maintenance management maybe it's a marketing sales finance hr legal any any department you think of management is expected to address all these issues leaving tremendous scope for industrial management in all walks of life as well as in all the departments of any organization maybe it is manufacturing or service here i recommend these five books but beyond this you can even refer uh, lots of things available on internet also thank you